The foundation for resuscitation of cardiac arrest patients is high quality basic life support. It's critical that you successfully perform these skills because effective advanced cardiovascular life support depends on them. These skills help save lives. High quality CPR maintains blood flow to vital organs, especially the heart and brain. The components of high quality CPR include adequate compression depth. Remember to push hard, compressing at a depth of at least two inches. Make sure you position your body over the patient. Good body position with the shoulders serving as the fulcrum over the chest will help you use your own body weight to perform compressions. Consider a step stool if necessary to achieve this position. Adequate compression rate. It's important to push fast by compressing at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute. Allowing complete chest recoil between compressions. Minimizing interruptions in compressions. Healthcare providers must minimize interruptions in chest compressions. This includes any pauses to deliver ventilations. When healthcare providers interrupt chest compressions, coronary perfusion pressure decreases dramatically and remains very low until compressions are resumed. It takes several compressions to build enough pressure to achieve an adequate coronary perfusion pressure necessary to get ROSC. And finally, avoiding excessive ventilation. The AHA recommends the use of audiovisual feedback and prompt devices during a resuscitation attempt or during training for real-time monitoring of CPR quality. The first skill we'll demonstrate is combining 30 compressions with two ventilations. In summary, perform high-quality CPR by compressing at a depth of at least two inches and at a rate of 100 to 120 per minute, allowing complete chest recoil, minimizing interruptions in compressions, and avoiding excessive ventilation. Additional measures, such as switching compressors every two minutes or earlier if fatigued, and using audio and visual feedback devices to improve CPR quality in real time will help give patients the best chance for survival.